Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As usually on Thursday, I show you the Forza Tone and also the championships in Forza Horizon 4. So let's have a look. First of all, here we have the photo challenge. Now, what do you need to do? You need to go in and do a mini and then go here at R2 seat. Just stand here somewhere and you can take a picture and you will have the photo challenge. Now let's have a look at the Forzaton shop. Here we have a nice Austin Martin and a uh, uh, Peugeot Turbo. Very nice car to drive with actually. And then you have a pumpkin, pumpkin head and a skeleton morph suit. So let's have a look at the Forzaton. We need to own and drive the 2005 BMW M3 or 2006 Audi RS4. Now the 2005 you can't buy in the auto show so I took the Audi RS4. Now we need to earn 12 stars from speed traps. Um, it is in total, so it doesn't really matter. Here we need to do road series and show off skills. So what did I do for the speed trap? I took this one here, old town, and I start from this side. This should be enough for speed. So let's have a look. Let's hope I don't hit traffic. So basically this you need to do four times uh, and then you have the Forza Ton, the second one. Then the next one is we need to win three road series events. Well this is pretty obvious. Um, if you want to do it very fast just use this one. Uh, here it is. Ashmore Heritage Circuit. I'll go there and show you the codes. So you go to solo, custom events, and then here you see easy Fortaton sprint race. This is the code. There you go. Just do this three times and you will have it very fast and easy. Then the last Fortaton. We need to get three show of skill combos. Now what I do is you need to do it in a race. I always go to this one. This is my test track. I have a blueprint for five laps, but you just need to pass a Dravatar in a drift. Just tap your handbrake and pass them while you drift a little bit. And this, it's pretty easy. So don't worry, the car is fast enough. Just put the Dravatars on a new racer and you will have no problems doing that. Then, I did the trial because it was interesting, C-Class, and then you need to do um, cross-country. Sadly, there were people not tuned, so we didn't win. But that will be for tonight on my stream. So let's have a look what we need. Um, it was here. So we need from the 80s a C-Class. Let's have a look at the cars that you could use. So basically, uh, you do have a lot of cars. Now, Volvo is very fast, less grippy. Uh, the Renault is also a good car. Uh, the Peugeot, also a very good car. Um, also fast. This one is good, grippy, but less fast. Um, I wouldn't take this one. And then you have the Ford. Where is my little Ford? I don't see my Ford. It's not there. So I'll go to the cars again. Uh, it was... No, it's not gold car. Sorry, it's uh, the 80s. So at year. And then we go to D and C class. The 80s. Now, the car that I took was the Fiesta. Um, it doesn't always show what cars you can take. So basically, I took this one. It's not the fastest one, but it did the trick. Um, this one is pretty fast. So I'm probably going to do this one also. I would take this one as fast. This one also and this one. There are three choices I would take. Fastest, second fast third fast. 
but this one is very stable uh, so it depends a little bit what you would like to do now what do we win from the trial we win the Mazda RX-7 then let's go to playgrounds what do we need on the playgrounds we need Chevrolet VS Dodge in A class well pff, that's also playgrounds is always something it's it's basically what you prefer yourself so let's have a look now this one the Corvette is always been a very fast car so I'm probably gonna use that one um, I do not have all the cars, uh, but I definitely gonna take this one because I know it's good and it's fast. But once again, that is more preferable to what you like. You have a lot of choices, so. Now what can we win? The Nova from 69. Then let's go to Hyperspace Express. You need to have an S2 hypercar. Let's have a look at the hypercars. there you go well the bugattis they don't steer i'm not a fan of that um the f12 is pretty okay venom um koenigsegg this one the cc8s is a very good one i tried the welcome pack the lamborghini um that one didn't steer very well i was not really a fan of it then I tried the Senna. Senna is very good um, in cornering and all, but it doesn't have a lot of top speeds. Uh, I actually took then the McLaren P1. Had no problems winning that. This one is pretty fast. The Noble also, but you need to handle the car. But I do like the car. It's very good. This one also very good car. So yeah, it's a little bit hard to say you have to take this car or this car. Um, Pagani is good, the Noble is good, the McLaren is good, P1 is good, and the CC8S if you have car pass is good. So I can't really say what you need to take. Now if you have problems with the hypercar and you can't win, you can, this is also a good car by the way, you can always take an S car and keep it in low uh, PI. For example, this one is a 907, so the Dravitas will also be very low, uh, close to S1, basically. Uh, but that's what I can advise you if you have really problems. Now, what can we win? We win the ID-0. No. Then, the next one, we have S1900 Super GT. There's only one car in my mind that I like and it's very simple. The car is fast, good and I will always take that no matter what. This one, 2017 Mercedes AMG GTR. Fast, grippy, good in corning. The car has everything and you will win very easily with that one. Now what can you win? A classic race helmet. Then the last championship is d500 cult cars uh, well i would recommend you doing this first and then go to s1 and s2 because i did it the opposite way and it was really very slow uh, d class only so let's have a look at the cult cars there you go so you do have <coughs> a few choices in this I took the Morgan three-wheeler. Why? It's a funny car and it's actually a very good car. Now, I also tried the uh, Meyer Max because it's actually faster, um, but it slides more. So you need to be careful on corners and brake sooner. I actually won the easiest with this car. Um, the Peel P50, very good car if you can handle it. Um, for the rest, I do have no um, preference. This is also a good car, the Abart, so you can take that too. Uh, I just did it in a three-wheeler. It's fun uh, and I just won. 
It also, I also noticed if I take that one, the driver ties a little bit slower. If I take this one that is a little bit faster, the driver ties went faster. Uh, so it's basically your preference, what you also like. It's a very slow race, so you can see. What can we win from that? We win the Toyota Corolla. Now let's have a look at the stunts. The first one here is the jump. So what you need to do, you come from here. Well, I'm not gonna go into my Audi. Um, I'm gonna take the muzzler, but you can also take the Hoonigan. Uh, that also depends. By now people will have preference and cars that they use for the stunts. I just stick to my muzzler because I just like that card. It does everything. And also for the aerodynamic that you can actually let the car. I almost hit that tree. There you go. The muzzle is just a very easy card to do everything. Then here you have to have amount a certain amount of speed. So Basically, with the muzzle, just watch out for this corner here. I see it's raining. For me now, I didn't have rain before. Let's hope there's not too much traffic. Yeah, I knew. Oh, there was traffic. There you go. I cut off that corner a little bit. Um, it's easier to take that corner than... Although I have dirt tires on my car. This is my dirt version, so... I could do that. And then the last one is... Where are you hidden? Ah, oh, there you go. And this one. Now, which side should you take? Um, there you go. I took this side. Now, the model is a little bit hard to do with this. You can also take the, the Hoonigan for that. I'm on simulation and don't have anything on. No help. So it is a little bit harder to do that. But if you put everything on, it's actually not that bad. As you can see, I'm sliding in the rain. But like I said, I didn't have rain. So basically, I'll just take the Hoonigan for now. Or I can put traction control and everything on, but I'm not going to do that. So let's go to the Hoonigan. This is not my Hoonigan. This is my Hoonigan. Now the Hoonigan is also a little bit tricky if you drive on simulation. There you go. But if you go from this side it's actually uh, faster. As you can see simulation is not easy uh, with the Hoonigan. But you can go faster this way if you don't hit everything. There you go. That was not my best run, but just go from the other side. Not Do not try uh, go from this side because after you come out of the corner from the opposite side, you can go full throttle basically. Now, here, um, monthly rivals and an online adventure that always stays the same. Just do it once. And here also, make sure you're qualified so you only have to do it once a month. Now, let's have a look. I have a back, back, backstage pass. So, let's go to the cars and then... There you go. So, now I have one backstage pass. Um, here is a community vote. What car would you like? Well, the thing is, I have both cars, um, so I'll just vote on this one. So basically, now we can have one car, but 
since I have all cards, I'm just going to keep my car, uh, my backstage pass and not buy a car. Uh, hopefully, there, I wish there would be like a special car or whatever. Now, if you don't have this car, the Ferrari, you should buy it. It's really good. Uh, it's good for stunts. It's good for racing um, and dirt and roads. It's a very overall good car. So this is basically how the Horizon Backstage Pass works. You can just, your, your points will count up if you don't buy anything. But like I said in my previous video uh, about Backstage, I wish they would just delete photo challenge and make a Backstage, backstage challenge with um, routes that people blueprints that people have made from the community that would be more making the community involved into the game and also show what nice races uh, community members can do and also to earn an extra backstage points well that's it i'll be streaming tonight at 8 30 cst on my twitch so hopefully everybody comes and we will have fun like we always have on the streams and I hope my car choices help you decide what cars you want. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.